start with the timer and please ask your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering it communication skills station, can we begin? I'll enter the, the room. I'll wash my hands. Yes. Hello, good morning. I am Dr. Tolu, one of the exam candidates. May I know your name and age, please? Uh, I am Mr. Tom, 68-year-old male. How would you prefer I address you? You can call me Tom, no issue. Okay, thank you. Uh, today I'm here to uh, speak with you regarding uh, your proposed uh, surgery, which you have, which you have for you. How do I help you today? May I know what you know about the surgery? Uh, doctor, uh, I know I have some brain tumor and I was going to undergo some surgery. If it goes well, uh, fortunately with God's grace, I will be cured. I, I understand there are due risk due risk associated with that. This, uh, this is what I know, and this is what my surgeon told me. Yes, Tom, you are absolutely right. Uh, you have a tumor in your brain, which is an abnormal growth, and uh, it will have to be removed through a surgery, which we call it radiotomy. And uh, this surgery is could be associated with significant uh, blood loss. And uh, I am here to also discuss with you that you may likely be transfused. And we need your permission for us to make blood available for you. Can we no, go ahead with I that? No, doctor. I don't want a blood transfusion. May I know why you don't want a blood transfusion, Tom? What are the risks associated with this? if I don't get a blood transfusion. Yes, I appreciate what you have said and I respect your belief. But it's important you understand what is at stake. As I said earlier, you have a tumor and uh, we are going to open up into your brain to remove this tumor. And this surgery is associated with significant uh, blood loss. We will try our best to minimize blood loss as surgery. But paradventure that we will have to give you blood to save your life because of the risk associated. Is this understood by you, Tom? Nee, I agree, doctor. You said ki you need a blood transfusion during surgery, but I don't want a blood transfusion. It's against my ethical beliefs. Religious. Religious I beliefs. I respect your religious belief, but it's important for me to explain the risk associated with this. Paradventure, in the event of the surgery, you bleed so much, we may have to abandon the surgery to save your life. And aside from that, there's also a risk of you dying as a result of blood loss, especially if the body could not cope. But this, as we are committed to saving you, as we are committed to operating on you, there are some measures that we could take in order to prevent this from happening. Before your surgery, we could do your blood level. If it is very low, we may have to postpone the surgery. Alternatively, we can call another specialist, which you call hematologist, to give you a particular drug, which you call erythropoietin. That drug is aimed at building your blood level. This will, so that you can have an adequate blood level before the surgery. 
before during the surgery, we will ensure that the most proficient doctor operates on you who is fast enough so that this surgery can carry can be carried out as fast as much as possible. Also, shortly during before during the surgery, we will give you a lot of intravenous fluids so that to dilute your blood level so as to minimize blood loss. Also, there's something we call blood salvage, which you can use to save as much as possible as blood during the surgery that we can give you your own blood within the, during the surgery. Then after the surgery, after the surgery, we'll give you enough fluids so that you'll be able to build your blood level. So I appreciate your reservations and I respect your belief. But it's important that you understand all this. And I will also make sure that after the surgery, I communicate all this to the doctor that is going to take over, that is going to watch after you. And this will be well documented in your folder so that under no circumstances, as you have said, that you don't want the blood. I'm also aware that you have also refused this transfusion before now. And that you have also stressed it to me again. That is fine by us. Do you understand everything that I've discussed with you, sir, Tom? Uh, yeah, uh, doctor, I understand. Can you tell me the alternatives if I don't get a trans uh, blood transfusion? Yes, if you don't get a blood transfusion, the risks are that we may, if you bleed so much, we may likely abandon the surgery so as to save your life. No, doctor. Uh, we you told, told you me that is, alternative. I'm asking, where, what are the alternatives? We just told you alternative. Yes, ma'am. Uh, just I want. Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay. Uh, just I, I just want to utilize the time, ma'am. Actually. Yes. Sorry, Tom. I didn't get you. Uh, can you tell me the alternatives uh, during the surgery if I can't underwent the surgery without blood? Uh, can I underwent the surgery without blood transfusion? Yes, the alternatives can be given before, during, but you are particular about during, during the surgery. We will try as much as possible to for you to be operated on by the most proficient uh, doctor among us, which will be fast at it so that it will minimize the rate of blood loss. During the surgery, too, we'll give you enough fluids before we start cutting you so as to dilute your blood level so as to minimize the amount of the blood cells that will be lost. Aside from that, we'll, there's something we we'll also call blood salvager, which will also use for you, which will save as much as possible blood so that we can we, we can give you your own blood during this surgery. These are the these are the alternatives that we have for you. Doctor, can, I understand. You, you, but yes, please go on, Tom. Doctor, I understand, but I still don't want a blood transfusion. Yes, I respect your belief. And uh, can you repeat again to me what you understand that you have and why you don't want the blood? Doctor, I would, uh, I, I understand you tell, told me it is a bloody surgery and I, you need to give me a blood during the surgery. It will uh, threaten to my life. I understand that, but still I don't want a blood transfusion. Okay, that's, that's fine, Tom. That's fine, Tom. We respect your belief and they will do our best and they will try as much as possible to communicate your decision to all the members of the team, especially your consultants. Also, the anesthetist will also be, that will put you to sleep, will also be aware. Then the perioperative nurses too, will also be aware of your decision for you not to be transfused under any circumstance. We respect this and we will we'll, we'll abide by that. Thank you for your time. Do you have any other questions for me, Tom? No, doctor. No, thank no you. Word. Thank you. Is I'll wash my you? hand. Yes, uh, you'll thank. Uh, uh, one thing, Dr. Tule, I want you to realize, patient has brain tumor. One of the options that you repeated twice, cell, cell vector, we do that in normal conditions, but not in case of tumors or in any cancer condition. Because then uh, once you are, uh, if a patient already has tumor or cancer, and you are transfusing that blood, then it will be seedling of the cancer cells. Oh, yes. So, that's not yes. Uh, please learn this, that this is wrong in written in the traditional notes. This option cannot be offered here in this scenario. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All the rest, it was good.
you were very polite and you were very, very soft. You couldn't convince, but then, okay, you, uh, you offered all the alternatives available. And even at the end, you were polite and you tried your best to reassure to the patient that uh, patient's uh, belief will be respected at all levels. So good.